how thrilled I am that we have such a great turnout um, of faculty, staff, and students here today to come really learn and remember um, this 100th anniversary of the Rosewood incident. Um, some of you may be familiar with this, some of you may be not familiar, and that's exactly why we need to um, have programs such as these so that we can remember um, and, and make sure that we don't forget the lessons associated with this type of um, a, a part of our history. Dr. Maxine Jones, who has graciously given her time to be with us this afternoon, received her bachelor's in 1975, her master's in 1977, and her PhD in 1982, all from Florida State University. She is a co-author of three books, African Americans in Florida with Kevin McCarthy, Talladega College, The First Century with Dr. Joe Richardson, and Education for Liberation, the American Missionary Association and African Americans 1890 to the Civil Rights Movement, also with Dr. Joe Richardson. She has won numerous academic awards for her research and was a principal author of the report of the Rosewood incident for the Florida legislature in 1993. My late mother proudly displayed a picture in our home of Dr. Jones putting me when I graduated from FSU. And it is my honor and distinct privilege to introduce my former professor, Dr. Maxine Jones. So the beginning of the new year for uh, the residents of Rosewood, Florida changed their lives forever. Instead of the traditional optimism that comes with every new year, life ended for some. And for those who survived, it scarred them forever. Well, in January of 1923, a small black community was wiped out due to racial violence, a lie told by a white woman, which affected the lives of hundreds of people. Monday, January 1st, 1923, early that morning, Fanny Taylor, a white woman, reports that she had been assaulted by um, a black man. The significance is that it's a part of our history. This, this um, incident has been hidden for, it was hidden for more than 70 years before uh, coming to light. It was an incident of racial violence that left at least eight people dead, more injured, and ruined the lives of, of hundreds of people. Our study, based on the testimony from the survivors, the lawyers were just really outstanding. And also, I think for the first time in the 20th century, black legislators used their influence and their power to make this happen. In the 1994, when the state acknowledged that this had happened and actually compensated uh, the family, uh, it was the first time in history that that this had actually been, uh, you know, been done. $2.1 million was set aside uh, to give to the family, $150,000 each to the nine survivors, and then if descendants could prove that their families had owned land, there was money to uh, compensate them for that, as well as money for scholarships. It, it is horrifying and it's um, maddening that um, it took so long for um, retribution to be made. Walking around in Tallahassee, you know, people would come up and thank me for the work that we did on this case. And again, it's, it's not about the money. Even though the money is important, this was more money than these people had probably made in their entire you know, lifetime. But it was an acknowledgement that the state of Florida had failed to protect all of its citizens. People don't know about things like this. This can repeat itself. Hatred and, and to know about past hatred, um, to be horrified about past hatred, um, I think it stops future hatred. It, it, when, when you hear about things that can happen from lies, like a small lie like that, um, it, it stops things like that from happening ever again. So, thank you for having me. Um, enjoy the rest of your life.
What do you hope for students to take away from this lecture? That history can repeat itself. You know, if you had asked me just a few years ago if this could ever happen again, I would have said no. But in this political climate, uh, with, you know, with, um, with incidents of, uh, of, of racial hatred and anti-Semitism, and with what happened on January 6th, anything's possible.